Hello, and welcome to the Business Services Team web guide for Munis 11.1 .1, Dashboard Navigation and Setup. In this tutorial, we will provide an overview of how to add and remove menu items and categories from the Favorites menu, and how to add and remove web parts from the dashboard. Approvals and notifications are now separate items in Munis and can be added to the dashboard via the Web Parts button. Navigate to the Munis workflow and click once on the Approvals and Notifications tiles. This will add them to your dashboard. The Approvals tile contains any items that can have action taken on them. Notifications will include items that are providing information but require no action. Click and hold on a tile and drag it to place it in a new location. Tiles can only be placed in the right tile and left tile locations. Click Update to finalize any changes made. The dashboard can be changed at any time by clicking on Web Parts. The number displayed in the Approvals tile represents the number of pending approvals. Click on the tile to access the approvals. Click in the checkbox next to any item to take action on. Once an item or multiple items are selected, the options Approve and Reject appear. Approve will send all selected items to the next approval level while Reject will send the item or items back to the originator. A rejection requires a reason in the comment box that appears, and approval does not. Once finished with the comments, click Save to finalize approval or rejection, or click Cancel to discard and return to the Approvals panel. To access an item in Munis and view it in full detail, click the link in the Approval pane. Once done with all approvals and rejections, click Close to minimize the Approvals tile. To access the full Tyler menu, click the Tyler menu button. This displays a list of all available Tyler menu categories. Expand a category by clicking on it. Some categories have additional subfolders. Expand these by clicking on them. Right click a menu item to generate a short list of options. Two of those options, Add to My Favorites and Add to My Programs, create a shortcut to the menu item so that it can be accessed without searching through the Tyler menu. My Favorites is an unsorted list of all added menu items without regard to category. My Programs sorts all menu items added into the appropriate category for that item. The third option, Run This Link, runs the selected menu item as if it had been left clicked. Menu items can be added to both My Favorites and My Programs if desired. To make changes to your favorite or program shortcuts, click on Edit Favorites. Custom categories can be created by clicking on Add Category. Name the category, then click Save Category to add it to your list. Categories can be reordered to best suit a user's priorities. Click and hold on a category, then drag it to the desired location. The category will move to the new location. To rename a category, right-click on the category and click on Edit This Category. Input the new name, then click Save Category. Note that this will not rename the category in the Tyler menu. It will only change in the Favorites list. Deleting a category is done by right-clicking on the category name and then clicking on Delete This Category. Note that any menu items placed within that category will also be removed from the Favorites list. Categories and menu items removed from the Favorites list are not deleted from the Tyler menu. Like categories, menu items can be moved by clicking and holding on the item, then dragging it to the desired location. This is the only way to populate a custom category. To rename a menu item, click on it. A small pop-up menu will appear. Change the name and click Save Favorite. Favorites can be deleted individually by clicking on the menu item and selecting Delete Favorite from the pop-up menu. They are not deleted from the Tyler menu and can be re-added to Favorites at any time. Once all editing of Favorites is complete, click Close. Further changes can be made at any time by once again clicking Edit Favorites. This concludes the Munis 11.1 .1 Dashboard Navigation and Setup Tutorial. We hope that it was helpful and informative and encourage you to contact the Munis Help Desk at munishelp at pasco.k12.fl.us if you encounter any problems when customizing your dashboard.